Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to say that this audio is by me. I am I am voicing, obviously, but um, sorry if I stutter in this. Some reason I stutter when I read. I stop and then have to read ahead, but I'm not good at reading ahead. So just do not put any hate comments, please, because, you know, I'm still getting into the fact that I'm reading out loud which I probably do a lot, but still, it's different, to be honest with you, it feels different. But, um, this is, um, something by the name of Persephone, and, um, it is called Behind the Shades, and obviously you'll see what it is, because I'll do some audios. Um, yep, so let's get into the audio. Behind the Shades, Chapter 1 Hunted Mother She ran and ran and ran. Her breathing fluctuated between inhaling and exhaling as the heavy breathing contracted her lungs. Her breath stained the back of, the, of a small pup's neck which she carried in her mouth. Leaves crunched and twigs snapped under her padded paws that moved rapidly. What was she running from? Why did she seem so scared? Why is she crying? The pup thought. It had only been a few more seconds before she came to a halt, frantically looking, searching, as she hopped into a rotten, hollowed-out tree. She placed the pup into it, making sure to completely seal him. She began to walk off again until her pup spoke. Mama? She couldn't help but turn around to face him. It's all right, Fresh. M Mama will be back soon, okay? She said, trying to stay strong, even though it was as if waterfalls were streaming out of her beautiful bright purple orbs. But Mama, where are you going? His mother's ears perked to the sound of rapid footsteps getting closer and closer, making her go into a more panicked state. She then took off her sunglasses to grab them in her mouth and position them on its precious small cranium. I I'm sorry, baby. I, I just have to go. But but when I wanna but when I come back, I want those glasses in top top shape. C can you do that for Mama? She hesitantly stuttered, but her coherent c enough so Fresh could understand her. He nodded and carefully handled, ha handled the spectacles. Be brave, baby. I love you. She then ran off to the footsteps getting louder. I love you too, Mama. Were the last words Fresh's mother would ever hear before the ear-bleeding blare of a gunshot could be heard from miles away. Fresh whimpered as the deafening sound in infiltrated in his tiny ears. After a while, it had gone quiet. There was no footsteps, no chirping birds, no loud noises, just nothingness, just silence. He protruded his head out of the end of the hollow log and scanned his surroundings to find nothing. He grasped the large glasses, setting them atop his head, seeing as they were too big to be placed directly on his muzzle. Fresh's ears flared back not knowing what to do next. He was lost and distraught. He figured if he waited long enough, his mother would return. So he waited and waited and waited. But deep down he had the sickening knowledge that she wasn't coming back. He chose not to believe. He chose to stay. So he stayed and stayed and stayed. That is until the deep feeling boiled up to the surface of his reality tears rising in his same purple eyes, realising a determinal sincerely she wasn't coming back. M mama 